Welcome to the unboxing and a look at what's in the box of KOTOR. Uh, it's a very simple board game, as you can see here. It's for one to four players, aged 10 and above, and it takes about 30 to 60 minutes. Um, there's the front cover, very nice indeed. It's got a bit of that Incan sort of feel, Aztec, Mayan, whatever. I'm sorry if uh, I'm confusing all of them together, no, no disrespect meant. Um, that's the feel that I get from that, okay? So uh, I do love that artwork. Let's have a look on the side. We have here, it's by uh, Synapses Games. Uh, that's that side, and if we turn it over, uh, it's good that we can turn it on a different side as well. Looking at the underneath side, that's what it looks like, and on the top side, slightly different artwork. Again, so we've got a lady there screaming and um, another person there this time with a green sort of alligator headdress on that side. Let's look at the base or the underside of the box, Kotal. It tells you a little bit about the game there and the backstory. It's a pretty easy game from what I know of. It's choose your pieces. Uh, they're put in this little circular bit. You then create your, um, I guess, your board of saved pieces and then you make your dragon, and I believe you make three dragons. Uh, complete the prophecy, make your dragon according to the cards that are there, and you can see the bits and pieces. Anyway, that's, that's enough. It's a good overview. On the back, it shows you what the game's about. Very simple game indeed. Let's slit down each of these sides, open it up, or take off the back plastic cover as I normally do. That's down that side, and the final side. And I just keep the top plastic cover on to protect it from abrasions. So I'll flip that over, I'll carefully lift the top off, and there we see what's in the box. Nothing on the underside or inside of the top box cover. In the box we get a nice very nice, two staples down the side there. Uh, rule book. Um, I have a feeling that there are two languages that we get. So we've got the Livret de Regales there. We have the rule book in English here. Uh, it is 12 pages long. We see there it shows you the components, uh, introduction, um, the setup example of the game. We've got the types of cards, we'll be looking at those in this what's in the box. Scoring of the cards, the game turn, uh, replenishing the supply board, choosing prophecy cards and assembling your Kotal. I believe Kotal means dragon, it may not, I don't know. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, write in the comments below. I just bought this game and I haven't really looked at it, it just, just looked nice. Uh, the salesperson uh, sold it to me. It's very easy, not a lot of English in it, so very easy to teach, and that's what I want. So scoring there on that page, special thanks, credits, and finally, detailed explanation of Temple and Prophecy cards. I'll put that over there for now. We have solo game rules. It's always nice to see a solo game version. This is the English rules for the solo game, the setup. Um, ADAM, not sure what that means. Uh, automated Dragon Assembling Machine. There we go. Uh, Fulfill, game end scoring, and advanced algorithms just for a bit of fun. Put that one over there. That is the other language. I guess it's all French. Again, not sure. That's the board which you put your pieces on. It is, uh, there you go, you put your pieces on there, collect from there the head, the tail, and the body bits. And once the game's done, you can use this as a scoring tracker, Turn, flip it over. That's a very nice touch, very thoughtful, very well done indeed. These are the pieces of the dragons. We've got yellow, we've got blue, we have red. Uh, now we have plenty more body pieces for the blue, so that must just be the head and tail pieces that we have there for the uh, yellow, blue, green, and red, and even black, so one, two, three, four, five colours, I'll put them down there, and we've got the body pieces for the red, the blue, the yellow, the green, and the black, so that's very, 
very nice. And they've all got their individual zip lock bags. I do like that touch as well. I don't have to go out and get any. We have bags. We have bags of plenty. We've got a nice large black bag. Uh, we have two slightly smaller bags. One blue, one brownish in colour. There they are. The drawstring uh, on one side only. So that will come to like that, as you can see. I can put bits in there. I'm not too sure what bits need to go in there. But uh, I think we just draw randomly from these bags. So maybe a head. Uh, oh, there we go. Yep. So we've got a head there, that would be the head pieces. We've got the tail pieces in this one, same on both sides. And then the body pieces, that's why it's slightly bigger. So that's a nice touch there, very well done there. We have some pop-outs, you can see there, that must be for scoring trackers. When we get to 50 or above, we, we flip that over. Um, so I could pop those out now, I won't. I'll put them down there on the side. We have what looks like our player boards. Now that the quality of the cardboard has been very good uh, on these pieces. This is a slightly, it's a card, but not really a cardboard. But I'll show you the difference in the thickness between the two there. You can, might be able to just see that on the screen. Definitely that's card, a heavy cardboard. That's just a very light sort of cardboard. You can see that, how it wobbles there. Um, so we've got a, it's a game for one to four players. You'll have yellow, green, blue, and red. You can see there on one side, same artwork on both sides. I'll put those player boards over there. Let's have a look at the cards we get. Looks like we've got space for certain components down there. Let's look at this lot of cards. Again, I have no idea what they're for. Let's see if there's a opening. I can't see that this is one of those card packs that open, so I'm going to try and slip my knife carefully down in there and then draw that back and carefully cut the other way so I'll take this plastic off chuck that away uh, so it looks like half three seven two or two one out of two so they're the oh no they're these are the cards that you draw. So there's there's the back. So that's what the artwork looks like on all of those. Again, very simple, very nice. I think it suits the feel of the game. Let's go through these so you can see what you're supposed to build with your dragon. I don't know what these mean. You can sort of guess. It looks like there's a seven there. Um, and it looks like no yellow pieces in a row. Maybe seven in a row. So what my guess is there. Uh, again, no black pieces, eight in a row. Green pieces, nine. Blue pieces 10, red pieces 11. Uh, we've got red equals yellow for 12. Maybe that's the score of the points that you get for the card. Uh, I'm guessing maybe that's the score of the card. So if you complete that, then you get a certain score. So these don't have a score. So I will have to go through the rules and there will be a setup and a how to play video later on. So those are the cards that you can get. They look very nice. Let's get out this bunch of cards. And this one does, as you can see, have um, that metal going around the outside, which allows you to open it. So I will use that. See how good that is. It does work to a degree. It's broken off in my fingers. There we go. Coming around, all the way around. Take the plastic off. So you can see exactly what you get in this box when you buy it. Um, we've got all of these cards have the same back and again you can see the artwork there, very nice artwork. Again that sort of ancient South American feel to it before the New World discovered it. So let's go through all of these and again so these might be starter cards, I don't, I don't know. These, there are a lot more of these cards, oh you can see there as I fan them out, you've got your reds, your blacks, your blues, your yellowy one, uh, green, For some reason they've got a yellow orange one in there. Let's go through them. So you've got three times, four times, five times, six times, two, three, four, five. Again, don't know what that means. Um, your guess is as good as mine. You can see there down the bottom we've got the dragon head. This is the body part. We want yellow and a tail. Maybe, maybe that's how many pieces there are in a row. 
uh, it scores you that many points. Uh, we've got red there, we have black on that one, we have green, we have blue, yellow, red, black, green, and blue. So they're all our red on that side cards. They have single pieces as the body. This, uh, the black cards, they look very similar to each other, just differing in the color. So you can't have, it looks like a yellow on at the end, but you've got to have two yellows uh, in the middle. And you've got one times, two times, and that'd be a scoring again, I assume. Yellow, red, black, green, blue, yellow, this time three pieces, red, black, green, blue, put them down. We have uh, one times, two times, three times for scoring if you have yellow and green as part of the body. So one, two, there we go. Oh, you can see the colors there. I won't read them out all for these, otherwise it'll get too long. You can see the variation that you get for these blue cards and start to get to four in a row. The uh, yellow, yellowy orange cards, you can see they're all one times equals six up there. Uh, have a whole lot more um, you need to do with the body and the colors. So three red, two green there. Let's go through these, see what you have to build. And the green cards, again, one times, two times, they all seem to have the similar scoring. There's that funky orange one that's slid in amongst the greens uh, during packing. Let's have a, have a look at these. So it looks like you can have an infinite number of something in the middle between a yellow and a red. Looking at those, there's that other yellowy one. So going through, again, I don't know what these different colors as far as we've got green here, you can see down here, blue, again, yellow, red down there, but they all seem to be, have a similar uh, goal on them. Uh, and that's about as best as I can guess. Maybe if you collect sets of the same color as well, there might be some bonuses. So that's what's in the box at the moment. And finally, I'll just put that over there. I'll put these at the top here. Finally, we get what looks like to be a first player marker. There we go. Looks very nice indeed. And that's that's a fairly sturdy cardboard as well. Uh, nothing in the rest of the box. It, it is blank, nothing up there. Uh, it's a nice sturdy uh, plastic uh, tray. It's got Kotal written there. If I turn that that way, you can see Kotal written there. And you put things in here, but I don't know what. I can't see with the components that I've pulled out of the out of here how those components go in there, but they do uh, somehow. Let's have a look at the uh, inside sides of the base, or the outside sides. Nice artwork all the way around, different pictures. I do like that to finish it off, you can see there and back to the blue one. So that's a look at what's in the box for Kotal. Thank you for looking and, and watching, seeing what's in the box along with me. Uh, please like, subscribe and share with your friends. And as always, enjoy your gaming. Look, if you like this game, please buy. I'll provide a link and if you buy anything through Amazon, the Amazon link that's provided, that will help support me. About one or two percent of your purchase will help go to uh, go to me to help do more game reviews on this channel. So please follow the link, and it doesn't matter what you buy, but as long as you use the link, uh, very much appreciate that. Thank you.